Hi Virgo, it's Elle here to do your oracle reading for this week. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It is much appreciated. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me, Virgo. So let's go ahead and get into this. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing Virgo with a clear, concise message from you. Okay, so Virgo, we've got um you possibly changing your mind about something or someone, okay? You had your mind made up about a connection that you were in, even if you weren't the only person, okay? Even if there was another party. Because you feel like um, this is a true love, okay? Uh, there's a strong connection. There's a soul connection. You can't shake it. You don't want to. But it seems as if you might need to take your power back because you were being too yielding, too moldable to giving to subservient maybe even submissive to a dynamic that was not giving you anything or not it was probably not giving you anything or very little in return okay or you just weren't getting what you wanted or what you need from this connection and it's time for you to take time out for yourself and practice some self-care okay however that looks from therapy to therapeutic practices to buying this or going there or whatever it is you need to do it could even be travel there's an opportunity for you to learn a lesson here for you to grow spiritually learn whatever it is you need to learn about yourself firstly and then other people and how you interact in interpersonal connections but learn about yourself so therefore you can move forward and differently in the next relationship all of this could be happening again because the dynamics of a relationship has shifted. It's definitely changed. It used to be two, now there's three. It used to be three, now there's four. I don't know what's going on. But the dynamic of a relationship has shifted. You could be trying to move the relationship into a healthier direction. Or you just need to accept that now something or somebody else has entered the relationship. And this is the new normal. You may be opening yourself up to new opportunity, new rooms, new... You may even run into somebody that you know while you're running errands. Something will be by happenstance, by coincidence, by, you know, a stroke of luck or divinity here. Um, it'll bring you out of confusion. Um, who... If you left or they left you, I don't know who left who... But somebody is stalking your social media, and you're stalking theirs. Someone feels like they're going crazy without you, or this is you. Somebody is addicted to sex with pretty much anybody. Um, so we're dealing with someone who also could be a cheater, a liar. Someone who tries to swindle you out of your energy, maybe even your money, your time, your innocence. You need to make sure that whatever relationship or relationships that you engage in they are reciprocal it is recip you're getting the reciprocal energy or you're getting at least equal you know um you're getting enough to sustain the relationship you're not doing everything um because it's like you're so yielding i know you're lying but i forgive you but i love you so i forgive you and we almost have that same energy going on with true love and triangle i know that i'm in a triangle that i am a third wheel but you're my true love i know you lied to me but i love you so i forgive you it's this if it's getting you to the outcome you want then by all means stay with it if you're not getting the outcome you want out of this relationship then you need to examine it you know, you need to examine your own behavior because that's what you control, okay? Um, because there is an energy of another woman or you feeling like you are the other woman on the outside, waiting, longing, uh, envious, jealous of, you know, what you can't have. You may be looking in on someone else's life or they're looking in on yours. Um, there could be another woman associated with your relationship. They could be looking in on your life. And, and coveting what you have 
not even knowing that you're unhappy also. It says that right now, if you don't change anything, constancy sets in. Um, if it's good, it stays good. If it's bad, it stays bad. It just is what it is. You are the agent of change here. Uh, on this journey, in this journey, in this relationship, you need to learn about yourself. You need to learn about your own personality, your own characteristics. Take that with you. Um, understand if it's working for you or against you. Shift what you need to shift around in yourself on this journey, okay? It also may be, um, you may be traveling soon here too. And that might lend you to some spiritual type of retreat. So that's good. Um, your person or you, it could be you Virgo, is saying, you know, if you decide to stay, it's on you. So they're really not taking any ownership of your feelings and what's going on. And um, someone could be saying, look, I want you and I want you. You know, it's not rocket science. It's not... Um, it's not more than what it is. I want you and I want you. So this is what I have for you, Virgo. If it resonates for you, go over to the website. Book your reading there. Take advantage of the text question where you can text the question to the number below. You can also donate to the channel if you're feeling moved to do so. Thank you, Virgo. Many blessings to you. Take care.